at Briarcliff MX. Probably my favorite track here in Ohio. It's a perfect day. It's muggy. My bike, this is my 2025 CRF450R. This is completely stock except for a 50th anniversary seat and a cool Pro League sticker and a few other graphics. But I got everything set. It's got about six or eight hours. This is my third time at Briarcliff, but I just got here. The track is mint. It's real grippy, and I wanted to come out and take a few laps. One thing I did do for today was I moved my bars to the front hole rotated back. I'm 6'2", 190 pounds, and I'm amazed it feels better. I always thought the Ergos were pretty good stock, but... I think it feels a little better. I did go to Pro Taper uh, handlebars. I just think they flex better. Plus, I wanted to go to ODI grips. The stock Honda grips are just a little bit fat for me, and I tend to run a lot of ODI grips on all my other bikes. So, every time I got on my Honda, it feel grips didn't feel good. But first things first. This is the best CRF. 450 they have produced in a long time this engine is amazing and the throttle response I'm just in map one if it gets real deep and loamy you can put it in map three aggressive but map one's got plenty the partial throttle roll on torque it's so good and it's controllable and you got you got um, tracks you control to dial in the map the way you kind of want it. Now this is all slick here. This is kind of where I complain about the MX-33 front tire. Third gear, just super easy. Easy flow over the jumps. The other thing about this engine is no engine braking, super free feeling. Sorry, I'm still chickening out on this thing. It's just so playful. The bike feels light. And the new bar position, I thought I liked the old ones, just never had any real issue, but I think it's, it just gives me a little more room to work and Somehow, it may calm the front feel down a little bit. Not sure how that works, but it it does feel good. low lap around the Briarcliff A-Track on my new CRF 450. So, some of the things that really stand out, ergos are good as always, but honestly, I'm really digging this thing move forward a little bit. I'll see what my son thinks. I'm going to let him take it out, but super easy to grip the bike. They've got the new symmetric feel. Um, engine, it's fantastic. Forks, I'm running the same clickers I they came up with at the Ironman. I think it's like 10-10 fork and maybe like 10-13 10 compression, 13 rebound in the rear and about one and three quarter high speed. 102 sag. This bike seems to like a little more taller rear end. I tried 106 and I went to 104. Then I 102 seems to be best when you accelerate, but I really dig it. This is a fun bike. Two big thumbs up. Briarcliff MX.